is a Tony Award winning stage actor, but he's best known as a sidekick in, the, in, uh, in his television and film roles. He was Richard Gere's friend in, uh, and attorney in Pretty Woman, and he plays Jerry Seinfeld's hapless best buddy on the NBC sitcom Seinfeld, which is on every Wednesday night right here on NBC. Please welcome Jason Alexander. <laughs> Trying to come on with that new dad guy swagger, huh? <laughs> yeah. That sort of God don't let me trip. I can't see my feet at this point. Uh, yeah. 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 The baby and how old's the baby now? The baby is uh, almost five weeks. Wow. Yeah. Wow. yeah. I remember the last time you you were asking me tips on how to conceive and everything, so yes. it all worked out. And yeah. you did great. You really came through. Glad Thanks for coming help. over to the house. Sure, and sure. That really, that hands-on demonstration. Sometimes being a coach can help. <laughs> <laughs> I guess your big break was what, Pretty Pretty Woman, at least in film. That's sort of yeah, I, I uh, just like Danny, I sort of toiled in the New York theater scene for a long time, and then the movie turns everything around. And uh, yeah, it was an amazing change, you know, to all of a sudden go from anonymity to overnight. And I, it, weird things happen, you know. It's like you get. I was in uh, the farmer's market not right. too long ago, and I was just walking up to one of the stands, and this this young 17-year-old girl, I had passed by a table, and I hear her go, "Oh my God!" Now I don't elicit "Oh my Gods." For many people, it's just not my thing. And I thought, man, this well, is the baby, really. This yeah, is, go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> this is really. I'm living now. And her mother comes up to me, and I'm getting ready. You know, my daughter is just so wonderful. She thinks you're. No, she comes up and she goes, my daughter knows that you've actually touched Julia Roberts, and she loves Julia Roberts. Could, could I get her number or something? <laughs> yeah, that's weird. So the ego. Oh my God, had nothing to do with me. <laughs> Is it strange? I mean, you play this slime ball lawyer, which yeah. I guess is redundant, but you play this character. <laughs> oh, stop. Oh, stop. Now, you play, obviously, you play this slimy character. Right. Now, do people, like, hate you for the character on the street? I mean, do you, I mean... When it first came out, because, to, you know, to most of America, I was, I was an unknown thing. So mm -hmm. you have to, you look at that movie and go, is it the character or is it the guy? You know, who do I hate here? <laughs> oh, yeah. And, uh... I'd walk down the street, and strange women would come up and go, I hate you! <laughs> and i go, thank you, nice meeting you, too. <laughs> Have a lovely day. And, uh, now, there are a couple <laughs> of Jason Alexanders in this business, right? Yeah. I mean, they're, <laughs> they're all over. There's a stand-up comic named Jason Alexander. There's a singer who does cruise ships. But uh, I thought they had to change the name. Isn't that the law, the, the legal I guess thing? they're not in, in any of our unions, but, uh, you know, I guess the magic union has got away with it. Jason Alexander, there's some guy, a magician, you know, and it was a big article my folks sent me in Fort Lauderdale. It said, Jason Alexander appearing in the small print. Not the guy from Seinfeld, you know, but they, it's very small print. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So what are you doing, a one-man show now? Is this, uh, are... Yeah, that's something I, uh, that looks like it's going to happen later, uh, later in the summer. I may be doing a one-man show about Harry Truman, uh -huh. um, which is, uh, in this political season, kind of an interesting thing, because a lot of the issues in the Truman election, a lot of the issues now yeah. are similar. And Truman was a very, you know, I don't want to get political and what you think, but he's a very Ross Perot type of guy. Ross Perot type of guy? Yeah, well, in, in this way, in that what I admire about Perot is that uh, you ask him a question, you're going to get an answer. I mean, it's not going to be, well, let me check my facts and well, get yeah, back. Yeah, but with Harry the Truman, the buck stops here. With Perot, the buck starts here. <laughs> 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 so you're gonna it, it, now didn't james whitmore the yeah the miracle played, grow guy uh, do a played him in uh yeah in between miracle growing he was uh <laughs> he did uh, a fabulous show, play, a show called give him hell harry oh, and it, he is, was, is it the same show or is it different yeah uh, it is yeah. Wait, give him hell give too. him hell give him even more hell come back harry and give him more hell oh, that's, that should be fun so, yeah so you've been studying up on your truman i've been boning up on truman and all the you know i didn't live through it uh the way Whitmore did. So uh, I have yeah. to bone up and they go, MacArthur. I go, MacArthur. Yeah, that's a, that's a name. I, you, know, <laughs> you have to read about it. But... Now, you guys are going into, what, fourth season next year? Yeah, the best kept secret on television until last year. <laughs> it's like a huge hit. Yeah, last year. Really took off. Really took off. And this is our, our fourth season, and uh, we're looking forward to big things, by gosh. Now, we have a clip here from this show. Does, yeah. Does, does yeah. this need any setting up? Um, just to say that uh, in what we're about to see, Jerry has gone and had a massage from a lovely lady, and he suggested that I should go and have the same experience. And uh, I've had a slightly different experience, and I've come back to tell him. Okay, let's take a look. We'll put our monitor up. <laughs> This is a scene from Seinfeld. Yes, indeed. Jason Alexander. 
it's nice you can incorporate your own true life experiences. Exactly, you know, know taken right from everyday life. Have you become more popular with the ladies since, uh... Have I become more popular with the ladies? I, you know, I, my popularity off of the Seinfeld show, I think, uh, has to do more with being sort of a pimp for Jerry Seinfeld. Uh, Aren't uh, we all? I, <laughs> it's everyone, everyone's greatest mission in life. Uh, you know, I get a lot, a lot of people that come up and go, do you know, Jerry, is there any way I could get my number to you? And I go, yeah, yeah, give me, give me your number and I'll make sure yeah. I get it. Give it to Kramer yeah. instead. That'll yeah, fix. right, exactly. Yeah. Now, you played a movie, though, where you get the girl, right? Don't you have a movie out now? Where you get yes, the girl? I did. Playing on airplanes across the I country. saw it on the flight. Yeah. That's right. Exactly. In fact, it opened on the flight I was on. There you go. Yeah. I did. I, uh, I play uh, in a movie called I Don't Buy Kisses Anymore with uh, uh, the girl I get is Nia Peoples, which is not, not too bad. bad. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Actually, I thought it was fine. I, you know, I never know how that works when a movie literally just, I see it on the plane before I hear of it. I, I guess yeah. it's just... <laughs> Well, that's a fine marketing approach that we're trying to do. <laughs> yeah, well, an upscale it, crowd. We'll play all over the country, and then we'll specifically zero in on the ground. See, you can't think of that. You have to think of it as a movie that costs $380 a ticket. To that's see. exactly. That's the ticket. You know. And high prices. Oh, yeah. That's true. That's terrific. Well, you start your fourth year. You yep. do a great job on the show, and the Thank character's a lot of fun. And congratulations on the new baby. Thank that's you very wonderful. much. Jason Alexander. Right back. Right back. Next, the music of Tom Cochran.